saying? We, we're not in that time. You can tell they didn't have a word. They're thinking about the future. And when you get yeah. mad, you're thinking about the future. Con, con, that's right. You know, you ain't saying, I'm going to get married and all uh, destruction's finna. You know, destruction's finna come and you like, you know what, I want to get married, baby. Con. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, it don't go down no. like that. You ain't, in the mood, you ain't in the mood if you think. You know, it, it don't matter. If, if Anything you get really on this side is, is vanity, you know, right now. Especially if you get it like, at this time, we know the end is coming. It's so near. That anything, anything you get on this side is going to be vanity. A brother can hit the lottery, it's vanity. You know, you ain't going to enjoy that money. Calm you know, down. you could you could come up on a on a uh, on a bad one. You can come up on a on a dime or whatever. Vanity. It was martial law troops come through, take a rank, way in gang raper. Gang, yeah. You know, so what you what you, what you really uh, cheering and, and happy about? You know, so th they don't understand. In fact, I'm gonna get a precept, just like you know, kind of going back into that. Uh, and with the days of uh, Noah, and you go into uh, Luke 17, and uh, you know go to verse, you know 20. Oh, 20. Let's start at 23. Come. Uh, in fact, let me start at 25. Now, 25. But first, must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation? Well, we're we're not above our master, okay? So we have to suffer many things and be rejected of this generation as well. That's what Yahweh Shah went through, so we have to go through that as his disciples in his stead. And then he goes thus, as in the day, as it was in the days of knowing, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. That's what IUIC is doing. That mean, you know what that mean? That mean they were uh, comfortable. Come on, they weren't suffering. Yeah, right. They weren't suffering and rejected by this generation. Yeah. You know? Yeah, when you comfortable, yeah, it ain't no uh, hardships taking place. Come on. Uh, it says that they were given in marriage until the day that Noe entered into the ark, and the, uh, until Noe entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. It says, likewise, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought. Oh, didn't they go and them go buy a, a place, a house, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So it's they a university. They gonna buy a university. They talking about buying a, a, getting an Israelite university as well. That's what uh, you know his henchmen were saying. Then he also said they planted. And they built it. They went and built up a house. So, hey. it, so they're doing that in this generation. So they can't be the disciples of Yahweh Bahashem Yahjai. They obviously they ain't calling them a name. There's a complete right. difference between uh, them and us. You gonna say something else? No, I was gonna say the uh, the elder I Thun that brought it out uh, that they got a billboard up somewhere. You know, they actually got a fucking IUIC billboard up. You know, like you pass a mile the freeway, the freeway or something, and you see a big ass fucking billboard up or whatever. They got a billboard up. That's for what? Advertise. You put billboards such as, as, a, as a, uh, a form of advertising to draw attention to, this, you know, to get people to come and, and buy your product. That's a form of media. Corruption billboards. Yeah. Uh, uh. And, and you can't just get that any good way. That that's shows you that he's in league with this with the uh, with Esau, man. Because you, because any billboard you put up, they gotta know exactly what the message is. They don't uh -huh. just let you put whatever right. up there. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So that shows you that he's really league. See, the thing about it is, when you go back and you look at, just like Thomas Paul was saying with critical thinking, when you think about the fact that our people were in captivity in Rome, do you think the Romans cared about the fact that they taught th that we were Israel to keep the laws? They didn't care. They didn't care about that. So him, so uh, you learning that you're an Israelite, or him or Nate telling you you gotta keep the laws when he's not keeping them anyway. That's what the Pharisees was doing, and the Pharisees was in league with the Romans. The Romans was cool with them teaching, hey, you Israel, keep you stay circumcised, and keep the laws, do, right? keep the, you know. They was teaching them Babylonian customs too. Come on, they talking about them wicked scribes. Come on, they was mixing it in. So right, mixing it in. Come on, so they was doing the same thing back then. So Esau's not scared about. All uh, people knowing that they're Israel, they scared about you believing under the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, and on the true doctrine. That's what they really scared of. Right. They don't like uh, uh, the fact that we go out on the highways and byways and tell this fucking devil that he going into slavery. Come on. You, how you how that look? You got your your slaves sleep, telling you that you going into slavery. <laughs> That they gonna put you in the slave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, they, you know, they, 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 they don't go and say, you know what, I'm glad about these Israelites out there telling us I run this whole fucking kingdom, you know, mm -hmm. in wickedness, and they telling me they gonna put me in chains. Evelyn Rothschild and, and mm -hmm. uh, what's
what's some other names? Rockefellers. Yeah, you know the Dubois. Rockefellers. You know the, that's the a, super rich, the international bankers. Come. Hey, that's the reason why we're able to do it because through the foolishness of preaching, we save those that believe. Because every time we bring out this message, this stuff is, you know, for us, we wholeheartedly believe in this. So it ain't, it, it doesn't seem odd to us, but to people that hear it, that don't believe, this is the preaching of the cross is foolishness. Because we say that, hey, we're, we're uh, like uh, this guy, uh, Polite said, you tell me a, a black man is going to crack them clouds and deliver you? That stuff is like crazy to them. So they yeah. laughing while we know that this is still going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, did you still have more in Revelation? Uh, yeah, Revelation 3. Did you, you finish up? Did you ever finish it? No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, let's go back and finish that scripture. Let's get some scriptures we call for. The Re Revelation 12 and 12. Come on, we can, yeah, some we else was called too. Yeah, yeah, hold that 12 and 12. I think uh, you got it. I think there's another scripture. I'll, I'll right finish now. up the, the 3 and 10 right now. Come, Revelation 20 and 4 was called. Yeah, come, we finish up that Revelation 3 and 10. I got wrap up because, you know, and before we bring them scriptures out, let's get Wisdom of Solomon. I believe it's the second chapter. Anybody got to die before you get that? Because, like I was saying, Esau, they're not happy, you know, about the Israel, basically GMS. They're not, come, come. They don't give a fuck about, you know, they still going to come after these other groups. Come, come. But they main focus is on really starting at the apostles on down, man. Come. You know, they gonna they gonna throw it out there as, as you know the, the the top apostle, that's the ringleader. He's the ringleader of this malicious, radical, mm -hmm. uh uh terrorist group. Mm hmm You know? And we, we gotta get rid of them. I mean look how they did old old Snowden. We going harder than fucking uh, Edward Snowden, man. Mm -hmm. The shit that he leaked, he leaked out. And he we tell him, we tell him, we bringing out, we bringing out more than what these fucking Edomites bring out. Gone. You know these Edomites that so called like, exposing truthers. Uh, yeah, you know, and they, we, we appreciate it. We appreciate the information. You know, you bringing out different information about the Illuminati and a chip, the agenda plans, the chip, and all. Yeah, all, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, they're not saying that they're going to go into slavery. They're not going into the ancient uh, deities that Esau is just basically refurbished and uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> worshiping the same ancient deities that the ancient kingdoms uh, uh, worship, you know? So uh, let's uh, bring that up. Let's talk. Now you don't gotta start from one. Let's just get to the the point where it says that uh, I want they profess that the Most High the power oh, and that oh, okay, okay, okay. somewhere around there because that's what we you know we tell the Esau saying you know what we I got something for you niggas y'all going out there preaching about we going into slavery and the Most High gonna throw our kingdom down they are, they got their eye on us they want to come get us and they gonna come for the prophets. Well, and as soon as they do, you know, it's a flip side to the story. Spiritual power, the most I going to do brothers, certain brothers, men of the elect, with that spiritual power. Good. You know? And that's when the most high going to make his move. Like that brother brought up about, you know, so-called natural disasters taking place. Mm -hmm. You know? The most high going to do some wild things in these last days, man. So as soon as Esau make his move and say, you know what, I'm finna... Fuck up the prophets, mm -hmm. you know. Then Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he gonna make his move, and it's gonna be more devastating. Hey, uh, just like you was going into earlier with the boxing, and hey, Moses is gonna make, is gonna do a counter punch. He gonna let you throw your 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 greatest shot, and you gonna miss. Yeah. And then you gonna get hit with that. that he gonna look like old boy that had that jerry curl that Mike Tyson he, uh, knocked out. He swung, miss, he missed. Miss, miss Green. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> green. Okay. I think it was, I don't know who it was. It might not yeah, be some yeah. other dude. I don't know who it was, man, but you come with that vicious punch, hook, whatever, you know, yeah. and miss, and then boom, get knocked out with a, with a, be looking like George Foreman, you know, when he fought Muhammad Ali. George Foreman didn't know where he was at. He got hit with punches, you know. Let's go. All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 16. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He abstained it from our ways as from filthiness. 
He pronounced it. Go into it. Uh, to, to like, uh, I'm gonna start from the top. We are esteemed, and this is the mindset of Esau, man. Man, they're talking about the elites. And this, this is really is, sorry, no dealing in this time, you know. Come. This is what he thinking, cause this is what's happening right now. And we, and like the prophets of old, man, we standing with great boldness, man. <laughs> So that 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 strike fear in all of these uh, elites, man. But uh, going back to uh, verse sixteen, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. And that's who, who who the main ones uh, coming out in all of Israel, man. Letting these gutter rats know that they uh, they they counterfeits, man. They not the true Jews. They not the chosen people, man. And shit, so that, that that's one of the main reasons. That's one of the reasons they want to come up against us. They want to demonize us. They yeah, want Caesar, to put us to death. Caesar, Caesar Borgia. Come. You know, if you go back to the Borgia family, uh, Alexander uh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo Borgia. Mm -hmm. You know, they really, they line really went back to uh, Amalek. Jewish Amalek come. because they were Sephardic Jews of. Uh, they they bloodline went back to. Uh, not originally from Spain, but when they when they came in, them Sephardic Jews come into Spain and dealt with the uh, the Moors, mm -hmm. you know, during that time period. Cause you watch that show, uh, the uh, see the Borgias, the original crime family. When the Pope came to, uh, I believe the Pope, no no no, the the Spaniard, the Spain came to, I believe it was, I don't know if it was. Mm. Queen Isabella or some one of them uh, came to Pope uh, Alexander the Sixth and uh, told him that you need to get back to your to your roots. They had said they had said something to the effect of, uh, and he hated. They kind of hated. They kind of uh, shunned upon the fact that they was uh, basically Jewish. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just bringing that out because uh, I remember Apostle uh, Ricard said something about that. But yeah, they even brought that out in that show, Borgias, the Borgias, that their roots went back to uh, Spain, but they didn't originally go back to Spain, but he was talking about as far as them Sephardic Jews, so-called Jews. But go ahead, huh? Alright. He abstained from our ways as from filthiness, man. And uh, brothers in, in this thing are serious-minded, man. That's an everyday thing, man. We constantly making sure that we keeping the law to the best of our abilities, man. Cause we know the ways of Esau is filthiness, man. Everything about this, uh, this play, this corporation, America, is filthiness, and contrary to the scriptures, man. So that's why, we, like, we go in uh, Jeremiah fifty one, man. Let's say, uh, 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 take not in, in, in her place, be not what uh, taken up in her place. I'm not really saying it verbatim, but basically come out of the ways of this place, man. But you got IUIC, and they claim that they're all about the law, but they really not living what they're speaking, man. These brothers over here, man, I can bear witness and, and, and personal testimony, man. We keep the law, man. We don't want to be uh, uh, caught up in Esau's sins and his destruction. It hurts to write his act. Come, that's it. Come, Read on. on. They say he pro pronounces pronounce it at the, the end of the just to be blessed. And that's all we doing is preaching salvation, man. Two-thirds got to be put to death first, and then they'll be born into a, a righteous, perfect kingdom, man. So all we doing is pushing salvation, man. We letting you know that at the end of the just is going to be blessed, man. Israel is the just. Right, and then this time it's the elect. Kind, that's it. The times we're in right now, the Most High is only dealing with the uh, elect, uh, the one third of the nation of Israel. You know, starting with that 144,000. Go ahead. And make it his boast that Yahweh is his father. Right. Keep yeah, going. Uh, oh, real quick, that's a Esau, man, Esau is, he's in, in a deep spiritual jealousy, man. Come on. They go back to uh, Jacob and Esau. Come on. You know, Esau wants his birthright back. The one that he sold away and uh, he despised. He des the scriptures say he despised his birthright. You know, because he just gave it away for for uh, uncooked bowl of uh, soup. Come on. 
you know. <laughs> God, he gave stupid. it. He gave it away, man. And uh, now he's like, if only if I can uh get these niggas out the way, get these Israelites out the way, then uh, you know I can have the blessing again. You know, cause they it's a weird threat as long as Israel, especially as long as we, you got Israelites still around saying Yahweh by Shemi I was shy. Right. And saying that, you know, through the power, the spirit and power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, y'all gonna be taken down. You know? Right. And we gonna be elevated in the rulership. Yep, that's right. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, yeah. Verse 17. Let us see if his words be true. Right, so this is what Esau is thinking. Like, these niggas is talking about putting us in slavery, about they got a kingdom coming and we, they gonna be beating our ass. You know, they sitting, they having nightmares. They sitting rolling around sweating. I can only imagine, man. I mean, I can't prove it. Like, you know, got proof on that. But, you know, get a real quick, get Wisdom of Solomon 5, I mean, 5 and <laughs> Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1 and uh, 2. Hey, real while you're getting that, man, uh, and really, man, that just, uh, uh, Esau got the power in his hand to uh, uh, to execute his plans, man, on us. That's why us in this troop, we got to stay at doing this work and studying, man. Because Esau, like the brother said, Esau ain't sleeping too good, man. So when he get up, what he going to do? He going to implement more ways to try to get rid of Israel, man. What's so at the same say? time, we got, we uh, this is a spiritual battle, man. We got to stay at, uh, at war with these devils, man. Giving them no rest. The scriptures say he have, he have accomplished a diligent search. You know, so Esau, you know, that scripture tell you right there that Esau is diligent. Esau is diligent in, in uh, his wicked, his wickedness. So just to back up what that brother said, it's saying that we got to be diligent, you know, in these scriptures. Yep. Go ahead, bring it's that up. Because I made the statement about Esau not sleeping well. Mm -hmm. It ain't talking about the average cracker. He think this place going to go on forever, right. you know. And Esau the elites think that too. They in that that spirit too. But they understand that they, what they saying, they know we we tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. But the most high got them spirits uh deceiving them. Come on, come on. That they gonna uh establish their new world order. But go ahead. It's wisdom of Solomon the fifth chapter. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Right, that's us out there on the streets and the lanes uh teaching, you know. That's the clips going up on the internet mm -hmm. where you can watch any time of the day. Con, that's right. It could be four in the morning. You can turn on your computer or your smartphone and get the truth, you know? Go ahead. And made no account of his labor. From the top, brother, with, with, with some power. All right. Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Right, that's what we're doing. They know the camp's doing that. Con. They ain't out there telling Esau, look, and I ain't talking. I ain't talking about mentioning it. I'm talking about pushing it, pushing the con, constantly mm -hmm. pushing it, yeah. shoving it down their fucking yeah. throat, Talk. teaching it. Yeah, we know yeah. that. Look, America is gonna be destroyed. You and you will never catch a great millstone camp go out there and teach and don't speak about America being destroyed. Come, That's never happened. That's unheard of. Go ahead. And made no account of his labors. When they see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear. When they see it, and they seeing it, they watching the clips. Man, they, they watching up the, the apostles, you know. And they get and then and then they they watching and seeing other brothers waking up around the earth, and it scared the fuck out of them. They terrified. So what the fuck we got to be scared about, you know? Esau is fucking scared. He's scared of Yahweh by Oh, yeah. You know? But he's been uh, uh, deceived. You know? The spirits are the, uh, deceiving this devil. The same, the same, the, the perfect example is how, uh, what the Most High did to the uh, Pharaoh of Egypt during the time of uh, Moses. Uh, the Most High using Moses to deliver, deliver the children of Israel out of the Egyptian captivity. It shows you that the Most High was in control of uh, uh, the decisions that Pharaoh was making. 
and tell you that he hardened his heart. So the most I put spirits on, on, on the Pharaoh. You know? This morning. Yep. yep. All right, hey, go ahead. You should go back up on two, verse right. two. Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, second verse. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Hey, because that's when these elites, man, when they going to really get the, it's just going to be too, too out in the open, man. To where the world can't deny it no more when those chariots litter the sky, man. And, and you have a shot show his, his true image, man, Come to on. these people, man. But the elites are going to fucking flip when they see that, man. From wherever they hiding at, man. They going to see it, man. And it's going to scare the shit out of them because it's not what they expect. Hey, and we talk about that. When we go out there, we, we preach that. We preach that the chariots are going to come and destroy this fucking kingdom with laser uh, concentrated fire. What's that? Isaiah 66, 15. Come you know? And that we going to be delivered. So everything that when they see us, they not, it ain't just that they seeing us out there teaching because they see Nate. They see uh, General Yohanna and, and, and these other camps that's out there, you know, teaching. So, but they see what we teaching, you know, not just that we out there in the, in the streets, but we out there talking about, look, you going down, the chariots of Israel coming to destroy this fucking place along with a uh, head net is going to be your house shot. You know, in the kingship. And this place is going going under, man. And ain't nothing you can do about it. You can try to come for the prophets. Go ahead. You was done over here? I'm going to read, read, read it one more time. Okay. And then go right back to uh, yeah, Wisdom of two. Solomon 2. Let me yeah. get to the point. It's Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, second verse. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all they look for. Okay. Right. So Esau's in the mindset mentality right now that I gotta, they going hard, man. Mm -hmm. Satan is making them go hard. You know what I'm saying? That's their uh, power pack. <coughs> now, let's go over here. This is Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 17. Let us see if his words be true. And let us prove what? it. Let us see if what words be true. Some of the things I just mentioned. Prophecy. We going to be delivered up out of here and thermonuclear destruction is going to take place here in America and around the world. But this place is going to be completely uh, devastated by that heat, you know. That's it. Let's see if that's true. He's saying they, because they got in their mind, they going to, we in control of sitting, uh, uh, detonating these ICBM missiles in the earth. Yep. They think they run this shit. We gon' we gon' set up. We gon' go according to uh, our plan, and we need three world wars to uh, take place, and that's gonna finalize. Oh, and the, and the mark of the beast to be implemented, which is the RFID microchip, and that's gonna finalize the new this new world order. You know, go ahead. And let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. That's basically they want they want to seal our fate, man. Test. They gonna test let's test them and see yeah. if they're really faithful. Come, come. They don't want us to uh profess a name, man. They don't want us to stand boldly. They don't want us to push this knowledge because it tarnishes and destroys their hopes and, uh, uh for their new world order, man. Hope dreams and aspirations. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Verse eighteen. No, and they go into exactly what, what uh the brother was just saying about with with this scripture going for these times right now because these elites are watching the clips you know they're watching all of us and they going they going you know want to see i'm going to see how tough this nigga going to be when right. i get him in yeah. concentration right. camp right. i'm going to yeah. see if he hollered at you how about send me how shot when i you know put his nuts in the vice you know they they going to want to test you guillotine you know yeah get you in the guillotine all this stuff that's coming right it's right around the corner. Yeah, blood dripping you know? off heads, severed, you it. know, exactly. blood, brain plasma, oh. shit coming out the head, uh, heads chopped off, blood dripping off a blade, and your head is under that damn thing, you know.